Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. And to see the power and the strength, because I'm telling you what, these animals are incredible predators. <laughs> Look at this big guy. We're giving it the new nickname, Saskatchewan Slammers. This is why we call it Manitoba Monsters, guys. That's why we love bear hunting. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, it's all about bear hunting, bearing down. Bearing down, 20 year memoir of yes. bearing down with her, her which, and I. Which is and actually, RJ. we've been hunting bears for more than 20 years, but 20 years on the outdoor channel, that's what the key is. Yes. That's right. So, so because we have so much, we couldn't choose, we couldn't really select, we let everybody else at home give us ideas, but the reality of it is, is we still only have a certain amount of time. Yeah. So, so we should get going. So be quiet. I love bear hunting. It's my favorite. Yeah, just let's go. That beautiful bear footage. What was that? When you start talking about different bear hunts, I mean, we've driven to the bear hunts where we do fly-ins for the bear hunts, and I think one of my favorite bear hunts was the first time we went up to northern Manitoba. So to set this hunt up, when we came back from lunch and we got up to the shoreline, there was a bear right there, and what he was doing was insane. Huge bear. 45 or 55 gallon drum. We had a hole cut in, we had the bait inside. The bear wanted to take more bait out, so he was ramming, ramming his head. This is where we got the name, we gave the name Manitoba Monsters. I can't get a shot on the ground. I'm gonna climb up the ladder again. Ralph's gonna stay on the ground. You stayed on the ground. I stayed with on the ground camera. and filmed it. I drew back, I shot him, he didn't go anywhere. He went down like that. You're talking about a Boone and Crockett 22 inch skull. He's down already, he's down already. He's down already. He's down right there. Oh my God. Good job, good job, good job. Oh my awesome. gosh. Awesome, I'm almost, arrow. I'm, there's my arrow right there. Oh. Whoa, he took his heart right out. Look at this beast! Oh my gosh! His oh, he's got his canines. He's got no canine. Look at this. It's gone. This other one's chipped off. 26, 26 years old. 26 years old. Now think of that. Think of what that animal witnessed and experienced. And his canine, everything, he wasn't gonna make too much no. longer. So you talk again, baiting, management, what a perfect scenario to prove the value of spring bear hunting. I got up in the stand and <laughs> that's the end of the story. <laughs> I shot him, he didn't go as far as I shot him for. He didn't go 15 yards. Oh, Obviously, well. I must have double lunged him and maybe a little hard well, or something. Hard. Cause I mean, he went down fast. Look at the size of this bear. We're up with Canadian subarctic hunting with Ken Gangler and Kip and Dean, our guide. And what an awesome hunt. Oh, wild. it can't get much better than this. Nope, I don't believe it can. <laughs> I can't hold his head up anymore. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. I gotta tell you something. This was our first adventure going up with Trophy West, and this is years and years ago. Hunting Vancouver Island. And when you heard Vancouver Island, it was just Bear Island. I mean, it was just- Absolutely, there's bears everywhere. Yeah, and well, this trip proved our dreams came true. To think you're on a boat, you're going in and out of these inlets, and you're in salt water looking for bears to come down as the tide goes out. To witness this for the first time was amazing. It was, because they're waiting for the tide to come out so they can go and roll those big rocks up that have been underwater all for that, yep. for that tide area, that, that phase. And they're rolling these big rocks over looking for all the crustaceans because that's what they love to eat. So we didn't waste any time. We spotted a bear up on the flats. He's a keeper right over here. Right to the boat. Come on. We'll keep that stuff right between. Right 
Well, we, we ended up deciding this guy, the wind's in our favor. We did some belly crawling. We got into a position. I came up over the rise, drew my Hoyt back, and I mean, just, just tipped it off. And I mean, he didn't go far at all. Hey guys, he's down. <laughs> oh brother. Let me just, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vic. Yeah. Vic. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. We've said it before. We're going to say it again. We are up here spotting and stalking coastal black bears here with Trophy West. And I'm going to tell you, look at this. That was my first coastal bear hunt. I had hunted them on the interior before, spotting and stalking. But to do it like this, oh, yeah, I was spoiled. So now, speed it up a few years. You know, we're back with Glenn and we've hunted with Trophy West year after year. And we're doing the boat hunt. We're doing a boat hunt yep. again. And this was a really cool situation. You know, one of the, all these inlets, and these guys know their bears. And right, and they know the estuaries and they know the tides and they know how these things are gonna be acting. So we're, we're, we're looking and we see this bear walking down the shoreline. Well, the wind's in our favor and the current is even in our favor. So we decide, Glenn's like, hey, let's get in the raft. Let's get in the Zodiac and go. And we're gonna try to float right by him. And you know, Ralph, maybe you could get a shot. Well, I'm game for anything. So lo and behold, we get in, we're, we're literally, Vicky, Glenn, I mean, we're just slowly drifting. This bear is feeding on the shoreline, coming this way. Next thing you know, it's do or die. I'm so happy I could flip this boat, no. but Matt and the skipper, Glenn and Vicky would kill me. What can you say? Once again, we, we've said it how many times we're at, we're on the ultimate bear hunt. We are up here with Trophy West, Glenn Venus, and, and it's just, we're, we're spotting stalking coastal, coastal black bears. And I mean, look at the size of this bear. Just think of this, to be on a bear hunt where you're spotting and stalking, where you're living off a boat, a ship, like, I, I'm, I am, I'm, see, I'm going to be a sailor one day. <laughs> and uh, you've got... <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, no. And uh, I don't even know starboard or whatever. But the, the crazy thing is, is you, you, we've got porpoise, we've got seals, we've got, we're prawning, we're crabbing. And I, I mean, we saw mountain goats. I mean, we just, this is it. You want the ultimate hunt? I mean, tell you, we found it. This is it, Glenn. Thank no, you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming. <sighs> Look at this big guy, and he's bigger than Vicky's. Let's go to Manitoba. Manitoba, adrenaline outfit. My outfitters. turn, adrenaline outfit. With Russ. Yeah, with Russ Melling. Jen and I went up there to go bear hunting. Another she, ladies hunt. Girls hunt, those are always the best. And Jen and I, Russ had everything figured out. He had his trail camera photos, and Russ, man, he knows his bears. And we went up there and- Big bears. Big bears, and well, you know, I got lucky. Jen and I took turns back and forth and who was filming and who was hunting, right. because that's what you do. Yeah. You know, you trade off when you're both hunting and filming. And we actually saw this big bear. She was hunting, but he didn't come in. And unfortunately, the night he came by us, it was my turn in the stand.
as he's walking, he's bumping it, he's coming out. We know that there's at least four other bears in the area. Now we're gonna have to come back. We have some decent blood. We're gonna have to come back in the morning. I don't wanna catch up to that one because the one that's laying over there. Are you freaking sure. kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I wouldn't kidding you. Are you kidding? No way. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. He is beautiful. That's what we call them a no-brainer. Yeah. That is just Russ. Thank you, buddy. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. Jen, thank you so much for filming. And um, Ralph, thanks for letting it be a girls week. Jess, let, thanks for Jen for coming up with me. Russ, Rod, all you guys. Thank you from Adrenaline Outfitters. And you know what? Thank the big Lord above that we got him tonight. <sighs>
fire just scared the living tar out of us. I kid you not. Oh my gosh. And he didn't go anywhere after I hit him with my Easton, but still, I mean, it was it was intense. It was crazy. And I tell you right now, Freddie, he's he was he lost it. He was Vicky, that thing could have ate us. I mean, it was awesome. I love that. That's why we love bear hunting. Ooh, buddy. Oh, he's got a big <laughs> scar on his head. Oh my god, he's awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that big scar. He's a big Jeez. bear. Oh my goodness. That there's a big bear. Jeff. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. No, thank you. He is a beast. Spy point show and he just showed up, right? Oh we got beautiful pictures of him on the spy point. We may have pictures of him tonight on the spy yes, point. I, I want to pull the card for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. My goodness. He is awesome. Thank he you is. so much. No, thank you. Like, like look at him. Oh my gosh. Move my bow out of the way. Oh my gosh. He's huge. He is huge. I mean Ooh, we're gonna struggle getting him out. Look at that. Thanks. Holy cow. Mm. Now, like we said, this, this spring was crazy, and I don't bet at, at Jeff's it is, but the thing was is this bear was smart. We had trail camera, yep. we got our spy point, we got pictures of them, but it, a lot of them were dark, and we're figuring, you know what, our last day, let's give it all we got. So we ended up putting the ground blind in, getting set up, and lo and behold, as we're, you know, Chad and I are out, we're out there looking, and I caught movement way out in the back, and I said, Chad, bear. And lo, we could see him slowly coming, and I mean, it wasn't long, he was right there. And you could tell his body pot, he didn't, he knew something was up. So we didn't waste any time, man. I came to full draw, put the pin on him, and he took off, arrow went right through, he took off and piled up. Then, we had to get him out. Okay, he was standing right here. And our shot came from over there. There's the arrow. A complete pass through. Oh, there he is. There he is. Wow, he went. Yeah. Oh, we're like, come on. You start always, you always start second guessing your shot, but it was there, and you're like, come on, but he is right there, and look at the size of that muzzle. Saskatchewan slammer right here. Just a good, mature boar here in Saskatchewan. Oh man, he's got some good gashes. He's been fighting. I'll bet you that, I wonder if that's from the sow. Yeah. He's, yeah. What can you say? You know, every time we talk, man, the last day, the last hour, well, this was the last day. It was not the last hour. Yep. And I'm telling you, last yesterday we were we were at a bait site. Chad and I pulled up, and we were like, "Oh, this is beautiful." And we had a we had a small a young bear come in, and I mean, he you could tell it what he wasn't comfortable at all. I we actually think that the sow just kicked him off, and because she didn't want the boar to kill him, and um, we're like, you know, so Jeff had pictures of a sow and a big boar, so we're like, you know what, we got it. You, you can't give up. You, you get a feeling, you gotta stick with it. Vicki actually hunted five days. Five days, she didn't see a bear because she's hunting a particular, you know, she wants a big animal. Lo and behold, yesterday, she's sitting there, her and Fred, and this monster walks out. She pins him, he goes, I don't know, 50, 70 yards and piles up. Jeff goes and gets that one. Tonight, this guy goes about 70 yards, we pinned him, and we leave tomorrow. So we've got a lot of work to do tonight. But guys, I gotta tell you something. We found our new home in Saskatchewan and we're giving it the new nickname, Saskatchewan Slammers. I don't know about you guys, but watching some of that old stuff just brings back so many memories. And, and you guys have seen it. You've seen it from day one and we just, we love it. We start, you know, I started my own bear camp years ago and then Vicki got involved and she was actually running bait. She was taking hunters in. I, I mean, it, the whole nine yards and it just, <sighs> bear hunting's just a blast. You, you do it in the springtime, it's a great management tool and we just, part of our yearly routine.